Hey, how's it going, everybody? Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com, and welcome to the update for Wednesday, October 28th, 2020. Free pick coming up at the end of this report. Uh, first quick note, if you've yet to become a member over at DocSports.com and you just want to give it a trial run, click on that link below the video, get yourself set up for a free $60 account, which you can then use on any of my daily packages or anybody else at DocSports.com. It is as simple as that. Congrats to the Dodgers. Listen, first World Series championship, obviously, since 1988. Yours truly was 21 years old. I was working my first sports radio job here in Las Vegas. Uh, the call letters are still around, although it's no longer a sports radio station. In fact, I, I think it's a Spanish-speaking station now, but KLEV Radio back in the day. And uh, I was doing a show with a good friend of mine, Seed Williams, who I was 21 at the time. He was probably around 30. And uh, we were doing a show with a little black and white TV so we could keep track of what was going on in that World Series game. And we, of course, went nuts when Gibby hit the home run, comes off the bench, barely able to walk. I don't even know if he touched second base. He was so busy doing this, rounding the bases, trying to start that lawnmower that I don't think anybody paid attention to whether or not he stepped on second. But uh, what a win that was, and that kept that series going for the Dodgers. And then, of course, uh, they win tonight, or I should say on uh, Tuesday night, and I wanted to say thanks, by the way, to everybody who jumped on board this baseball season, this shortened baseball season that started in late July. And uh, we had another winning playoff season, which we've done 26 years of handicapping and betting Major League Baseball playoffs. And we are now 20 and six winning postseasons after winning again uh, this past, this just completed playoff season. Uh, so I want to say thanks to those of you who jumped on board. Hopefully we're going to have baseball on schedule. Hopefully we'll have uh, some spring training next March and by April. First, uh, we'll be able to have a regular season. Really, really hope that we're able to do that and get a few people in the stands like we saw in the World Series. But uh, more stories to come, you know, because there's not a whole lot of daily sports action going on for several weeks now until we get to college basketball. And I've had a lot of people at DocSports.com in the two and a half years that I've been there asking me to do a little bit more storytelling about uh, those times back in the day in the 80s in Las Vegas when Las Vegas was a completely different world than it is right now. But uh, uh, we'll talk a little bit more in detail about myself, Seed Williams, KLEV Radio, what was going on there, the craziness. I am Johnson. That's a name I want you to remember. Isaiah Moses Johnson, who was the best NBA handicapper, better I've ever met in my life. I am passed away a few years ago. He was only in his 50s. We'll talk about him a little bit more with story time. But I uh, did bring back memories of being 21, hair halfway down my back. Now I can't grow it. And uh, watching on that little black and white TV in 19. 88 when Gibby hit one out. So there you go. All right. Well, here's what's going on for me on a Wednesday, at least. Uh, we do have PGA action. Now, this week's tournament in Bermuda gets underway bright and early uh, as far as Pacific time is concerned, early on the East Coast, but at least the sun will be up. Uh, but we are jumping into it. You'll be able to get my matchup, first matchup, which is a first round Thursday matchup in PGA available on Wednesday only. Because they're starting so early, you can get it on Wednesday. It'll be there on Wednesday. We look to go to 28 and 15 with my current PGA run. Uh, right now we're 27 and 15. We're up over $3,500 for $100 per unit betters going back to the 1st of August. So we'll look to uh, build off the win with Cantlay on Sunday and get a win for Thursday's opening round play. And again, just wanted to note, make a note of it again that you'll have to get this play on Wednesday for early Thursday first round action. Uh, in the PGA this week. Uh, also wanted to mention that I am involved in soccer. We've got MLS action on a Wednesday night, and that's where we are right now with a free pick. I'll get to that. Uh, we do have that play up in college football. If you want to hear the quick analysis on it, it's still available on my YouTube channel, Michigan State plus the points over Michigan. I want more college football, but I didn't want to toss out another college football game until we at least got football games going. No games on Wednesday, obviously, but we'll be back late Wednesday night, early Thursday morning, football Thursday for us, and we'll have at least one college football play, one more uh, for the action for this weekend. But for now, uh, we've got a little MLS action, and I wanted to let you know that I put together a nice little team, a couple of guys, soccer experts, and we are talking every single day. One of them happens to be a big follower from a betting standpoint of the MLS and of Mexico, uh, Mexican Primera soccer, and uh, so he's definitely chiming in when we have our calls and our get-togethers every night for the next day's soccer. 
soccer action. And then I have another uh, capper better who is basically focused on European soccer. I mean, he does La Liga, he does Serie A, but mainly EPL and German Bundesliga. So I got a nice little team and the recommendation, the free pick for Wednesday night MLS is a play on Sporting Kansas City uh, over Cincinnati. And listen, Cincy, even though they played 20 games, for instance, as an example, Colorado's only played 14. Cincy still has the fewest points in the league, not just in the Eastern Conference, crossing over here against Sporting Kansas City, who's in a battle right now at the top of the Western Conference standings with Portland and Seattle. Uh, but I don't like the Cincinnati team because they're not showing any signs of being able to uh, kind of dig their way out of where they sit right now in the Eastern Conference. They've lost, what, six of the last seven matches. KC's coming up a real nice win over Colorado. They beat them 4-0. And one thing I like about KC is that they went 4-1-1 one and one in their six games so far this month, and I really think they're going to be able to get the better of Cincinnati in this one. Price is not bad anywhere from $1.12 to $1.20 as I cut this video. KC the favorite, and we're going to recommend a play on Sporting Kansas City over Cincinnati, our free pick in MLS action for Wednesday. And again, PGA, Thursday first round play available Wednesday only over at DocSports.com. We look to extend to 28 and 15. I lost in soccer yesterday on Tuesday, but I do have a play in MLS action for Wednesday, available right now. Handicappers homepage, DocSports.com will be available actually on Wednesday during the day. All right, and then of course, we'll be back here for football Thursday, early Thursday morning. We'll have a free pick uh, in college football. If you like the videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. Let's put Wednesday in the win column.